Hi, this is Jason from Gene Codes Corporation. We are excited to announce the release of Sequencer 5.4 DNA Sequence Assembly and Analysis Software. In today's video, I'd like to show you some of the new features of this release. Maybe the biggest addition to Sequencer 5.4 is variant calling with SAM tools. SAM tools let you analyze SAM or BAM files for variants and create a VCF file that can be used by genome browsers such as Tablet and the UCSC browser. To use SAM tools, I go to Sequence, Analyses, SAM tool variant calling. One nifty feature is that if you highlight the contig from your GSNAP or BWA alignment in the project window, as I did, the files for the alignment and the reference sequence will already be filled in for you. Click Analyze to run. When the analysis is done, you can import the variants into the tablet viewer to see them in your alignment. Another addition to Sequencer 5.4 is FastQC, which allows you to check the quality of your data before you align it. FastQC analyzes your file with up to 11 different metrics. To use FastQC, go to Sequence, Analyses, FastQ Quality Control Report. Add the file that you wish to analyze. Select whether you want to review the results immediately or not, and click Analyze. You can view the reports by going to View, Display FastQC Report. If you selected to view the results immediately, you will be taken to this window automatically when your run is complete. If you click on a link in the Summary column, We'll jump to that analysis. GSNAP has been updated in Sequencer 5.4 with new features and changes to existing features. You now have the option for RNA tolerant alignment with GSNAP in Sequencer. The Align Using GSNAP dialog more clearly outlines your options for RNA tolerant, methylation, and SNP tolerant alignment. The GSNAP Advanced Menus option has more options than before to provide more support for RNA sequencing. Improved RNA alignment with GSNAP is only the beginning of the RNA seq enhancements in Sequencer 5.4. We've added CuffQuant and CuffNorm to the CuffLink suite in our RNA tools to give you greater flexibility in your workflow. As with the other components of the CuffLink suite, we provide a user-friendly interface for each. Sequencer 5.4 has a new CuffDiff dialog. The biggest change to the dialog is that you now add your input files using the new Conditions and Replicates editor. This makes it easy to take advantage of CuffDiff and CuffNorm's ability to analyze replicates. We've also made big changes to our RNA-seq plots and charts. You can now search by gene name or gene ID to find a specific gene in the table and plots or charts. You can also now sort the table by column. You can choose the data that you want to appear in a plot or chart by selecting those rows in the table and using the Include Selection feature.
The charts and plots can be saved as a PNG file. This has been a brief introduction to the new features of Sequencer 5.4. Of course, Sequencer 5.4 also has all of the features for Sanger and NGS assembly and analysis that you are familiar with from previous versions of Sequencer. Download Sequencer 5.4 at genecodes.com today and request a 30-day evaluation license to try them all out.